Zion National Park is reopened. Thank goodness after that crazy, crazy uh, amount of rain, all like in a one hour period, they got one inch of rain, just trashed that place after that mudslide and it just uh, breaks my heart to see it. Uh, they're out there picking up as fast as they can. Some of the trails aren't even open yet. Uh, I would definitely not take your RV in there yet. It's going to be a bumpy ride, let me tell you. The debris all over. Parking lot's closed. State Route 9 is still closed. But the park itself is reopened, so that's good. They're moving fast. Uh, it's going to be a beautiful place here soon again. And in fact, David Durnell, one of the co-owners of RV Wholesalers, was is heading out there actually in a couple weeks. So I just saw him uh, getting his Class C motorhome all uh, decked out and ready for his big trip. And so he's pretty excited about taking his family out there, enjoying the, uh, the West and, and the beauty of God's creation out there. So uh, pretty cool. I always get this question on webinars, like how long of an RV or trailer can you take into a campground, uh, into a national park rather? So in this case, Zion, uh, the limit is 40 feet. If you're 41 feet, they're not gonna let you in. Uh, that's the limit out there at that national park. Uh, so make sure you check all the parks that you're planning to visit. Uh, see what the length is for that one. Zion's 40. Uh, in fact, even if you're if you're a certain height, you have to get a uh, uh, a special tunnel permit. They call it. It's basically where they escort you if you're tall uh, through some of the areas. So, anyway, it's just something to be thinking about and checking. Uh, another great update is coming your way, just like these. Uh, so make sure you subscribe because we have a lot more of these little updates coming. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can get these real quick. But I'm going to be heading over to the factories because pricing, as you know, is like all over the board. There's price increases happening on a regular basis. So I want to get, I want to go right to the factories, ask the guys that are in charge, like what's going on? Like what should we expect the next few months? And uh, while I'm there, I'm going to take a sneak peek uh, behind the curtain and see if we can see some of the 2022s because July is basically when the 2022 models start rolling off the line. So uh, if they're not coming off the line, I'm gonna ask them like, what are the updates and changes that we should expect? What's the color scheme and what's the, you know, like what's coming? Because I, I wanna know. So we're gonna figure that out. I'm gonna put it on here on YouTube uh, for you guys. So make sure you subscribe. And I tell you what, I'm gonna give away a National Parks Pass. That's basically a pass for your family, uh, four adults, unlimited kids, and an RV, travel trailer, and a tow vehicle uh, into any National Park for a whole year. I'm gonna give that away for free for the 15th person to sign up for our next virtual RV show uh, that's gonna be on July 28th, 2021. So if you're the 15th person to sign up, uh, look back on virtualrvshow.com. We'll have it posted, the winner, and I want to see uh, who gets that. So anybody that subscribes to YouTube can go do that, and we will enter you in the drawing, and can't wait to make a family happy and be able to get out to our national park. So come on, Zion. Keep up the good work. We're excited to have you back online.